Okay, so this is my uh, 2010 Volkswagen Polo and uh, unfortunately uh, the boot has stopped opening. Just really not anything happening there. Um, fortunately there's quite a simple and cheap way to uh, fix this. So inside the boot you'll see there's a little slot uh, in the boot lid and all you need to do is put your uh, key or a small screwdriver through the slot and then that will you'll be able to feel a, a lever I'll put it here which uh, actually looks like this and you're just trying to move the lever over to the left hand side while pushing up in the boot lid and that will open the boot <coughs> okay in order to remove the trim panel first thing you have to do is remove the two little screws that live inside the uh, handle there are Torx T20 <coughs> and then uh, you need to get uh, a trim removal tool um, into the sides here along here to prise off the cover if you don't have a trim removal tool you might find that something like a, an ice scraper you can actually force that up into there and lever off the panel uh, you don't want to use a screwdriver because you'll probably end up scratching the paint now having taken the two screws out of the, um, the rear cover you can see that there are these little clips here around the edges which uh, attach into the uh, frame of the vehicle uh, up here in the front there's one of them that's still sitting in here so I'll take that out and reattach it to the cover now when you get into <coughs> look at this a lot of old boot releases use a mechanical connection between the switch uh, the handle and the lock uh, in the Polo, uh, the, the, uh, the boot handle is actually just an electrical switch. So the first thing I'm going to do is just take the plug off here and then using a multimeter just check for continuity between the two pins in here while you operate the handle from outside. Now I've done that and uh, this switch is good so I know that that isn't the problem. The next thing to look at is this, is the boot lock itself, there's this four wire plug and all I'm going to do is take that off and then check for voltage, making sure the car is switched on, just check for voltage at these pins to see whether the lock is receiving voltage, if it's not then you may have a problem in the wiring or perhaps a blown fuse somewhere. Again, I've tested this and I have voltage, so I'm pretty sure the problem is this boot lock. Now, I was quite surprised when I looked uh, these up on eBay. Uh, I was able to get this uh, non-genuine part for about £15, which I think is a uh, pretty good value. And I'm just going to swap this over. So before I put it all together, I'm just going to test and see whether this uh, this lock is working. So just wired it up to the existing lock, and I'll just set the uh, the lock to be closed. So you see here, it's now now closed. I'll open it with a key fob, and then just try the handle. There you go, that seems to be working just fine. So I'll go ahead and install this in place of the other lock. <coughs> now in first inspection these uh, bolts holding the lock in look like uh, your standard Torx uh, bits. But in fact the, the proper bit to use for this is a 12 spline bit. Sometimes known as a triple square or XZN bit and the size for this as i found is an m7 um, and that's awkward because most of the kits that you buy with these 12 bit splines in seem to miss out the m7 so i have to buy this as an independent part 
Okay, I'm just going to try it out before I refit the panel. Yep, that seems to be working just fine. <laughs> 